Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Wicked Gamer Run Collector. So in this video, we are going to do some more testing on the Pow Kitty X15 with the shitty D-pad. Yes, people, uh, everybody hates this D-pad. But nevertheless, we are going to do some testing. We're going to do some Sega Dreamcast. Is this our budget ultimate Sega Dreamcast device? Because this thing is not super expensive. I really love the grip of this device. Did a full review, so if you're done with this video, don't forget to check out this video. And it would be great to have you here on the channel, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and let's go and let's test some games. All right, let's power it on. Uh, we are going to use Red Dream, because your dream come true with Red Dream. One of my favorite Sega Dreamcast emulators. So, as you can see, it's booting up. I'm running the original firmware. Just wanted to point it out. I know there is a clean version out there. Maybe in the future I'll do a video about that. But for now, Pow Kitty time! Alright, so when you're installing the Red Dream, you can use it like the free, uh, the light mode. But if you just want to have the full experience of Red Dream, it got a great simulation or emulation of all the Dreamcast games. You can always buy the premium version. It's very cheap and it will support the team. Alright, let's try the first game. I don't know if I... Did I mute the thing? Oh, I muted it. Sorry. Alright, let's boot it up and let's see how are the games are running. First we're going to do a two-dimensional game. Yeah, we already know that. I dressed the freaking phone button. Oh. <laughs> yes, people, full screen, 60 by 9. I love it. Don't give a shit what people think about it. I know it's not like the real deal. I know. I want 60 by 9. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but I want to. But I just wanted to say that I don't care if it's for Bet 369. But I understand what people want to have the real experience. Runs pretty smooth. Can I do? Can I do a move with this? No. Okay, it's good that this thing has a freaking analog stick. An analog stick still plays nice. And this is what I really love about Red Rain. Even with some cheaper devices, the emulation is pretty good. Alright, okay, let's go. Loading! Please wait! Giga wine time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you can see that it is dipping a little bit sometimes when it's getting very busy on the screen. Okay, I'm just, I just basically killed myself. Where's my super? Let's show you here. You can see it's now drip, dripping, dripping, dropping frames, going to the 50 frames. But when playing the game without any superpowers, it works like a charm.
The ring drop. 40, 45. And we're going to play the original aspects ratio. For people who just love it to see it like this. Alright, let's go. You know what I tell you? We're going to take you for a ride, baby. Take you for a ride. Uh, let's see. Do I have some favorite characters where I play with? Mm. Ah. All right. Let's see how it runs. Two-dimensional fighting game. The previous mo game worked fine. Don't see the weird stick lines here and the characters, so that's very nice. But you can see over here with this game, it doesn't run on 60 frames. You need to decide for yourself if you think this will be an issue for you. Keep in mind, it's a very budget device. Horrible beep at time. I'm getting masked by Captain by Captain America. Yeah, come. It works. Time for some Mortal Kombat, people! Yes! Mm -hmm. The Gold Edition, especially for the Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Sabi Wabi time! So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. All right, so is it me or... Okay, the analog stuff is not even working with this freaking game. But I think it's more like a problem with the game itself and emulation. Now we have a shitty D-pad to play. Uppercut time. Funny thing is, I can do moves on this thing. Don't ask me how, but... Just uppercut you all day long. Oh, Fretcha got up at the So really funny that this game slightly works a little bit slightly better than the previous model. I see it's running at 60 frames at the moment. 60 frames. Oh no, it's dipping now. Didn't say anything. Just doing single play, single race. It just re it picks up to 60 frames, so that's a good thing. All right, let's start. I have no idea where is the pedal to the metal, people. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you needed some loading time. Why do I have a feeling I need to use? 
Alright, so we can shift gears if we want to. We can... Why do I have this feeling that my... My butt... My triggers are not mapped or something like that. Yeah. Alright, so we're not going to drive. I'm not going to remap everything, but you're getting the freaking point. This thing... It's playable, but it's not running perfectly. Not at all. As you can see, it's going around 45. But when you're having a lot of moving images, sometimes it dips to 35. You're right. Well, let's see how fast this runs. Very curious. FPS in the left corner. Still the same, like the previous part of the video. And a look MD pad sport. Alright, so if it comes to Sega Dreamcast on this Pow Kitty X15, it's a very low powered Android device. It's not with the newest Android. Um, there is a way you can basically remove the Pow Kitty software and upgrade it if you want to. But if you look at out of the box, now you're installing Redream. Redream has a lot of support and is still a very active community. It's just great seeing Sega Dreamcast running pretty decent on this. Of course, it's more like up to you if you can live with the performance what you're getting over here. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Become one of the Wicked family by subscribing and hit the bell. Would be great to have you here. So that means I will see you in my next video. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Mm. And he's down.